G'day everyone, Hugh McClay here from iTrack Suspension. Over the next few months I'm going to be doing quite an extensive video series on bike suspension kinematics and um, this episode is really just a quick introduction to talk a bit about what I do and some of the tools that I use to um, design bikes. If you've got an interest in suspension design and you've done a bit of googling then you might have come across my website got quite an extensive section on suspension theory um, so it's broken up into two sections you've got uh, suspension theory which talks about all the main sort of um, characteristics and and metrics that define how a bike will handle um, and it's also got a suspension design section which talks about the main types of bike suspension configurations and what their pros and cons are from the designer's perspective so not necessarily talking about how they're each tuned but um, talking about how flexible they are for the designer in terms of being able to achieve different characteristics also if you're interested in suspension design you've probably come across this software called linkage um, it's available at www.bikechecker.com um, Basically it's a analysis program um, where you can model a bike suspension system and it um, calculates a whole bunch of useful metrics that help to predict how the bike suspension is going to behave. I've contributed a little bit to this software. Um, basically my contribution is about uh, floating idler pulleys so basically whenever a, a bike includes an idler pulley like this one which moves relative to the front triangle um, previously before about uh, 2012 um, linkage wasn't able to properly calculate anti-squat for these types of suspension systems but um, in 2012 I provided my algorithms to the developer of this software and they've implemented it and um, so whenever my algorithms are used it shows up this watermark here so yeah that's me um, basically linkage is an analysis program so you can model pretty much any type of bike suspension system in here and it'll calculate a whole bunch of things like anti-squat, anti-rise, chain lines um, the, the main ones I look at are this one which is um, the motion ratio, so that's actually the first derivative of the um, shock compression curve. Um, that's based that red one motion ratio is basically the inverse of leverage ratio, um, anti squat, and anti rise. So they're the three main ones that I look at. There's a lot of others as well, but um, for me, these others aren't so important because you can't actually tune them independently of leverage ratio and anti-squat and anti-rise. A lot of bike designers use this software when coming up with um, their, their new design or whatever and um, basically they'll, they'll model a bike and, and start to move pivots around until they can achieve the characteristics they want. Um, it's quite a difficult process to do it that way. It's basically trial and error, especially on these uh, more complicated systems. Uh, it's very difficult to sort of intuitively work out where you have to move a pivot to to achieve certain um, anti-squat or anti-rise or um, leverage ratio characteristics that you're trying to achieve. So um, I've actually developed something that works the other way, basically where you can input the characteristics you want and the software will work out where you need to put the pivots. So um, we'll look at that now. So here's the uh, dashboard of my software. Um, I'll show you around the place. Basically, it's um, you can select a model from down here. Um, you can save models, save them as, delete them, whatever. Pretty standard stuff. Um, I can put in an image on the back of the bike. Um, that helps to, to look at pivot locations if I'm trying to model a specific one. Um, this one here is a Kona. Um, I can move the suspension up and down. I can um, show various 
important lines, how they move with this, the travel, so that's all handy. I can show a few key points, um, that's a single pivot, so they're not relevant. So um, you can manually change the pivot locations here, and basically with this one we can model pretty much any system that's related to like a single pivot or a four bar. Um, I've got a separate one to deal with six bar systems. Um, so basically this software calculates the um, shock stroke, um, the derivative of that which is the motion ratio and the anti-squat curve and the anti-rise curve. So all that's um, pretty much the same as what linkage can do, probably a bit more clunky as well. Linkage is really good to be able to grab pivots and just move them around. But um, what this software does that Linkage can't do is that I can um, put in some uh, requests and targets and um, let's say I want to make this motion ratio more progressive. I can punch in some targets and um, basically um, optimise it. I can put in some, uh, some boundaries here so that the software can only adjust the pivots within a certain range. Um, and then we can optimize it and see, um, there we go, it'll move the pivots around within the allowable range and, and try and hit the targets that I've asked for. So just then I asked for you know, a more progressive um, motion ratio. I can also go back to Andy Squat and um, ask it to, to hit the same curve that it was hitting before. There we go, so Andy Squat's back to um, where it was. And it doesn't have to just be two points, I can put in as many points as I want. Um, so I can control basically how, um, how closely it needs to hit these points by the number of points, which influences the, um, the weighting of um, how much we want to emphasize all these um, targets. A um, few other things, I can also uh, lock some links, so if basically if, um, if I wanted to design some new links, or let's say I wanted to design a new rocker link for this bike, let's say I, I owned one and um, I wanted to get a metric shock or something different and um, I had access to some CNC gear that meant I could make a new link, uh, basically I would lock out the other links and then it would only change the dimensions on this link um, so I could come up with a, a new, put in some targets and come up with a new shape link there that would um, get close to achieving what I'm trying to achieve. So yeah, real quick introduction to this software. Over the next few months I'm going to be using this to um, discuss a whole bunch of really interesting topics on suspension kinematics. And the first episode will be all about single pivots. So stay tuned for that. And uh, thanks for listening. Cheers.